Welcome to the Home Illusion tutorial for converting a 2D image to a 3D image. Let's go ahead and uh, start Home Illusion up and once it launches choose the new 3D button. A new 3D window will load. Let's go ahead and hit click the edit button and then click the add button. And from the Home Illusion CD tutorials folder choose the astronaut JPEG. Click the open button. Home Illusion will load the file. Once it's loaded just go ahead and select the astronaut.jpg layer and hit the copy button to duplicate the layer. Now rename the top copy astronaut and the bottom copy earth. you can change a layer's name by double clicking it. Now go ahead and turn off the visibility of the Earth by turning, clicking the visibility box and select the astronaut layer. Now let's go ahead and click the paint button. Make sure the astronaut selected and click the mask button. What we're going to do is we're going to mask out the astronaut so he's floating above the Earth. And we want it to be set to clear so that we, we mask away any Earth surrounding the astronaut. Go ahead and set your brush size to about 72 pixels or so. And just start to paint around the edge of the astronaut. And what you're doing here is you're knocking out the Earth in the background. And just go around the edge and follow it. If you mess up, all you have to do is set the slider to solid and you can paint it right back in. You're not destroying the image, you're simply masking it out. And to go along long straight areas such as the back here, you can hold the shift key and click and it will draw a straight line from the last point to the new point. And you can just shift click as you go around to draw along long straight lines and then paint again when you get to more curvy areas. And just paint a little bit extra here around the feet. Now when you've got that done, just go ahead and set your brush size to a much larger size, about 200 pixels. And set your hardness to 100%. So we get a nice sharp edge. And we can use this to just knock out the remaining earth surrounding the astronaut. Just go around and eat inside the line you made around the astronaut. That gave you a little buffer area so that you had uh, a little more safety when masking so that you don't hit the astronaut with the hard edge as you're going around. So you can just clip off the remaining and just take it out as you go around. And We're going to leave the astronaut floating on a white space and once again hold the shift key to, to knock out large areas. And anything you mess up, you can just paint right back in. The image is still there, just hidden. Okay, so now we've got the astronaut knocked out onto his own layer. He's uh, floating out there in white. Let's just go ahead and save our document. And we'll save this to our tutorial files. We'll create a new folder called Tutorial Files here. and just save our astronaut right in there. Okay, now let's turn off the visibility for the astronaut and turn the visibility back on for the Earth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the astronaut from this picture of the Earth and we'll just click the clone tool and to clone you must first select a source so you hold option key and select and then start painting. Oops, actually I need to set my hardness to zero. Setting your hardness to zero will give you a nice soft blend where you clone. Now option click again and paint and you can see I got a nice soft edge instead of a hard edge now and it's just taking where I've, I've selected my source and it's painting it into where I'm, I'm my brush is now. And I can continue to, to option click and then paint until I completely remove the astronaut from the image of the clouds. And now we have an Earth 
with no astronaut and an astronaut with no Earth. They move independently of one another. We have two separate layers that we can put 3D on independently uh, without messing with either of the other layers. So now we have a nice Earth background and let's go ahead and save that. All right. Now let's go ahead and click the edit button and select the astronaut and turn his visibility back on. And now you can see him floating there over Earth and let's set his scale to 90 percent and we'll rotate him 90 degrees. And you can see how we've now changed the astronaut without ever uh, editing the background. Now just click the move tool and we'll drag the astronaut somewhere in the center of the image kind of center him up. And we can move him around, twist him, rotate him, do whatever we like without messing with the background. So let's save this file. All right. Now, let's set some depth to this image. Select the Earth and set its depth plane to background. And select the astronaut and set its depth plane to foreground because we want him to come forward in 3D space. And we want the Earth to go backward in 3D space. Now, We've got our planes set for our layers. Let's click the paint tool and we'll put some depth into them. All right, we selected our paintbrush. Now select the depth tool. And before we paint depth, we have to bake our rotation. All right, now we want the astronaut to come near. So make sure the slider is set to near. You can set the sliders by clicking the word and it'll go all the way or you can drag it anywhere you like and once you got set to near just click the fill button now we filled the astronaut with near depth now click the earth and click it to far set the slider to far and you can see that you can just slide it wherever you like now just go ahead and click the fill button and now we filled the earth with far depth now if you just click the 3d button and put your 3d glasses on you'll see that we have a astronaut floating over a distant earth Now let's go ahead and save our document. And that's pretty quick. We've got a 3D image here in no time. Let's go ahead and add some text. We can put some text in here and have it floating anywhere we like. So click the text button and then click the add and a new text layer up here and double click that text layer, rename it. Just name it all caps N-A-S-A, -A, NASA. All right. Now let's go ahead and set that text size to 120 and set its opacity to 40% and check the bold checkbox. And now click the edit tool and we're going to take this NASA layer and move it down in the layer order once so it's underneath the astronaut in 3D space. Let's click down and now you can see the NASA is behind the astronaut and it's floating in the midground of 3D space. Let's save this file. So we've got a 3D file with a layered text. Let's go ahead and hit the render and we'll draw a 3D image of this. Click the save button and name this astronaut 40 LPI and we'll put this in our tutorials files and hit save and everything else is ready to go with this it's it's all the default settings are ready so just hit the go button and home illusion will start to generate our 3d frames and you can see the earth and the astronaut panning in different directions because one comes forward and the other goes back in 3d space And you can do this with any 2D image. Just load the image and separate the elements you want to come out forward and back in 3D space onto their own little layers. And you can control their depth and set them anywhere in space you like. Additionally, you can paint depth into them so that the, the depth across the surface variates so that you could have a face with a nose that comes out further than the rest of the face. So really, the, the possibilities are endless. And once it finishes the 3D frames, it's going to proceed on to the interlace. and once the interlace is complete it will automatically adjust so that it fits the lens properly and that's all there is to it the print dialog will come up thank you for taking the time to uh, view our tutorial on 2d to 3d conversion